Hi everyone and welcome to the Passport Manual Setup Guide. This video is for users that have chosen to set up their passport without the use of Envoy, our mobile companion app. So with the device turned on, we have greeted with the welcome message and Passport says, congratulations on taking custody of your Bitcoin and reclaiming your sovereignty. Then Passport asks how you would like to set up the device. Of course, this one, we're going to choose manual setup. Passport says manual setup is for advanced users who do not wish to use Envoy. You can then scan that QR code on screen with your phone to access the online setup guide. The next step is to accept the terms of use of Passport, which can be found on our website or at the URL shown on screen. And the next step is to complete the supply chain validation to confirm that Passport has not been tampered with since it left our factory. So what we need to do is navigate to validate.foundationdevices.com. Then we need to scan the QR code shown on screen. After scanning the QR code, Passport will display four words. These four words should be entered into the boxes given on the website. Once you've typed all four words in, press validate. Then you should be given the security check result, which you would then confirm on Passport. If of course you do not get a successful result, please do contact us at hello at foundationdevices.com so that we can investigate. The next step is to create a pin for your device. And the pin can be anywhere between 6 and 12 characters. The device I'm using for this video has already been set up, so I'm just going to enter the pin that I've already set. Next, Passport is going to ask if we would like to update the firmware, so I'm going to choose yes. Next up, Passport will ask to insert an SD card containing the latest firmware. So let's go and grab that now. There are two main places that you can manually download your Passport firmware from. The first one being our documentation website, which is at docs.foundationdevices.com. That will open up this screen. If you simply click on firmware updates, The first two main links that you would see at the top of the page are the latest firmware for both the Founders Edition Passport and the Batch 2. These are both direct download links, so clicking that will immediately download it straight to your computer. The second location that you can download the firmware file from is our GitHub. So if you click on the GitHub link, head to Passport 2, which is Batch 2. Then come across to releases and the latest main release version will always be linked here. Finally, if we scroll down to the assets, the file that you're looking for is the .bin file. Clicking on that link will download it to your computer. Advanced users that would like to verify the integrity and the source of the firmware files can follow the instructions on this page. The next step is to insert the micro SD card from our passport into your computer. Then we need to locate the file that we've just downloaded and we would just drag and drop it onto the SD card. And if we open up the SD card, we'll just double check that the latest firmware is there. Yep, 2.0.3 in this case. And then we can eject that from our computer. So now that we have the latest firmware onto our micro SD card that was supplied with Passport, I'm going to pop the SD card into the device. And 
and then I just need to select the firmware that's just been added to the micro SD card. Of course the firmware version shown on your screen may be different to the one shown at the time of filming this video. Passport will then reboot. Then we have our firmware successfully updated, so I just need to enter my PIN again to access the device. So the next step is to create a new seed or restore an existing one. Given that this is a setup video, I'm going to assume that we're starting from scratch and that we need a new Bitcoin seed. So I'm going to choose that option. Next up, Passport is going to show us the seed words for the seed that is just securely generated for us. Then what I'm going to do is carefully write those words down on the card provided in the box with Passport. You should make sure once you've written those words down that you double check them very carefully. After that, you can press continue. Next up, Passport is going to prompt us to make an encrypted SD card backup of that very same seed. And that backup is encrypted by a 20 digit code which Passport is going to show us and that we need to write down on the same card provided with the device. There's our code, so I'm just going to write that down. Then Passport is going to ask us to re-enter that 20 digit code just to ensure that we have written it down correctly. At this stage if you don't have an SD card inserted into the device you should do that. Then press continue. There we go, we now have an encrypted version of our seed saved securely to that micro SD card. You should take that out of the device and keep it somewhere safe and secure. And that's it, Passport is now set up with our secure seed ready to be connected with any number of different software wallets. We have video guides for all of these on our documentation site docs.foundationdevices.com.